Hey guys, welcome back to Bougie Breathe Beauty. I am getting on today to do a quick product review, first impression, unboxing of my November BoxyCharm. I know I'm a little late, I have a lot of stuff going on, the holidays and everything, so let's get to it. All right, so this month's BoxyCharm is called Harvest. Um, this is just my base like BoxyCharm. And like I told you guys in the last couple that I am actually testing these products before I show them to you, just so I can give you kind of my first impression review. And then I'm gonna rate them based on what I pay retail price for them or not. So first we're gonna go with this Natasha Deona, Denona um, Peak Palette. This is a palette, I believe it was curated just for BoxyCharm. Don't mark, like don't like, quote me on that, but I believe it was. So this is a five pan palette. I actually did create a look with this for Thanksgiving. So they're very fall Thanksgiving -y colors, total like colors in my color range that I would normally use and go with. Um, very pigmented as far as the mattes go. The glitter like luster was very pigmented and solid. I really liked it. So I did really enjoy this palette. Like I said, definitely colors I would go for. Now this retails for $45. They are bigger pans, as you can see, they're not the little ones that usually come in like a bigger palette. But would I pay $45 for a five pan palette? I don't think I would, because I mean, you're limited to shades. You get like four mattes and a shimmer. So I definitely, as even though they're great, it's a great like eyeshadow, great pigmentation, great product. Um, it's just not to me, I wouldn't pay $45 for a five pan eyeshadow palette. So next up, we have Farsali. Farsali, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> but um, this is called Quench. It's a moisturizing, replenishing serum. It's supposed to hydrate and replenish. So it's just like a moisturizer, but it's more of a gel. It comes with a dropper. So it's just a clear gel and you just drop it. Now I started using this instead of my moisturizer just to test it out and it's fine. Um, I don't think it's like anything special. Um, this brand, I've actually used their foundation primer before and again, it, it was fine but nothing special. Like I only bought it once and I never like really bought it again because I didn't, I used the um, pore perfecting like blurring primer that they had. I believe it's in the little green bottle. Like I said, I just never bought it again because I wasn't like wowed by it. And like I said, this, it's fine. Nothing wrong with it. I didn't break out. So that's a big plus for me, especially because I have sensitive skin and like new products usually make me break out. So I usually stick to what I like, what works for me. This retails for $24. I pay more for my regular moisturizer and I'd rather use my regular moisturizer than this. So for me personally, I just, I just wouldn't buy this really no matter what price it was because I wasn't too impressed with it and I'd rather just go back to my normal moisturizer. But it's not a bad product. Next up is Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. This is a thick mascara. Like that is almost the size of a quarter. Like this is big. Um, this was actually my choice product. And because I was like almost running out of mascara, so I figured why why not? Might as well try this new mascara. Um, I like I always tell you guys this that I don't really care what mascara I use because I wear fake lashes. I just go to my drugstore mascara because it's cheap, and I just need to coat my mascaras before I or coat my lashes before I apply my false lashes. So this is Milk Makeup. I've never used anything from Milk Makeup. The first thing I noticed about it was like, that's a big applicator. Like, I don't know, like it's like as thick as my pinky, like half the size of my pinky. Like, So really getting in there, especially your bottom lashes, like it's really hard to be precise with it. Um, as far as the formula goes, I, it was totally fine. I didn't really stamp or smear or like or smudge throughout the day. I wasn't really too happy with how big that applicator was. This actually is waterproof. So I was really impressed with the ease of removing this. A lot of waterproof mascaras are so hard to get off. You're like scrubbing your lashes, all your lashes fall out just to get some mascara off. 
I haven't tested like the waterproofness of this, but I was impressed at how easy it did come off with it being a waterproof formula. This is $24 for this big old thing. If I didn't wear false lashes, I would buy a mascara like this and in this price range, but because I'm not looking for waterproof or I'm not really concerned with what my mascara looks like on its own, I wouldn't pay $24 for this product. It's not necessary for me. I'll go back to my $7 drugstore mascara. <laughs> Next, we have this Yensa. Never heard of this brand. It's a pumpkin turmeric two-in-one radiance polishing mask. Um, eight super orange essence. So it's like a super food mask and I've used it a couple times. I wouldn't really categorize this as a mask. I know it says mask, but when I follow the directions, which it tells you to um, like put a, like a, a thin layer on for five to 10 minutes and then gently massage it off and like rinse with warm water. So the first time I ever used it, that's what I did. By the time five, 10 minutes passed and I went to like scrub it, like rub it around and rinse it off, there was like nothing left on my skin. It wasn't like it hardened or just sat on it. So I just kind of started using it as like an exfoliator. And again, like with this, I really like the formula just because you have the pumpkin, turmeric, papaya, grapefruit, ginger, carrot, honey, and orange. A lot of like natural ingredients and even looking at the ingredient list, I don't see any alcohols or acids or anything like that. So I would say if you have sensitive skin, this is probably a really great um, like exfoliator mask uh, for you. But for me, again, it wasn't bad. It, it You know, I'm not saying it's a bad product, but it just wasn't my cup of tea when it comes to like a mask. Once I saw the price of it being $45, I there are way more masks and exfoliators that I would rather spend $45 on. So like, I would not spend $45 on this product. I might spend like 18, $20 on this, but not 45. So that was not a win for me. Um, and last in my box, um, are these Moda, never heard of this brand or company or whatever it is, Moda Ultimate Eye Sculptors, they're just two like rose gold metallic brushes, they're super soft, they feel so nice, so it's just a fluffy blending brush, I actually really like this brush, now this brush is really interesting, it's like a triangle, and it's also like slanted at the end. I did use this. I try to kind of use it like for the, my outer corner. So I was like, okay, the triangle shape, maybe will go with my outer corner. But this just, this shape of this brush was a little odd to me. So um, this brush I wasn't too like thrilled about. This brush I do really like. These two brushes together are $15. I would pay $15 for this one blending brush alone. So you get the second one, which, you know, whatever, two for the price of one sounds great. So yes, I would pay $15 for this brush in particular. This one's just a little extra. Probably wind up giving it to my little sister. Yeah, so I guess these are kind of the only win for me in this box. And like going back to this no pile for me, like I said on all of them, none of them were bad products that I would tell someone to not to get. They just weren't like my cup of tea and then some of their price points are just like I definitely want to pay for like pay that for those and then also they included this 25% off Natasha Denona coupon which I think is great because Natasha Denona is she's expensive she's a lot expensive you've been to Sephora and seen her line like she has some palettes that are pretty pricey so overall even though my no pile is like more than my yes pile I'm still loving BoxyCharm. Um, I wouldn't say this box was a fail in any way because I'm still gonna use all these products. They're just not products that I'm gonna go and replenish once they're out. Hope you guys found this useful or helpful and I hope you guys are definitely getting more interested in BoxyCharm. If you have any questions or anything, always feel free to reach out to me, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.